Since the 1990s, the concept of humanoid robots has been the stuff of science fiction, and people till date cannot believe that there could ever be another human-like species which can walk, talk, and perform tasks just like a normal human being. Japan has always been known for its technological brilliance. Apart from its beautiful islands and hot springs, it is the world's most illiterate and technologically advanced nation believed to be making products that are inconceivable, and recently they have released their new, fully functioning female robots. But what makes these robots different? What impact do they have on the future of robots? Will they be the future of robotics and IoT? Continue watching the video till the end to know more. Japan has never failed to amuse its audience with any kind of product they have come up with. They have the most creative minds in the world, and their technical products are so awesome that the country has literally been called a technological hub. Recently, the news about their fully functioning female robots have taken over the internet and people are losing their minds over it. We have created a list of these robots for you. Let's hop right into them now. Number 1. Ever heard of a robot that can paint? Wait, wait, let's put it this way. Ever heard of a robot that can paint better than us humans? Yes, we have a robot that goes by the name of Ida that is capable of doing so. Ida isn't just a robot and she isn't just an artist. She's what her creators call the first ultra-realistic humanoid artist, and her talent is undeniable. We haven't spent eye-watering amounts of time and money to make a very clever painter, said Ida's creator, Aidan Meller. This project is an ethical project. Introduced in 2019, Ida is a poet, a painter, and a sculptor. In addition to robotic arms, she also has an incredibly realistic face complete with blinking eyes that can scan the room. Ida is the world's first ultra-realistic robot. She draws using cameras in her eyes, her AI algorithms, and her robotic arm. Created in February 2019, she had her first solo show at the University of Oxford, Unsecured Futures, where her art encouraged viewers to think about our rapidly changing world. She has since then traveled and exhibited work internationally and had her first show in a major museum, the Design Museum, in 2021. She continues to create art that challenges our notions of creativity in a post-humanist era. While she's incapable, so far, of creating completely original works of art, her five-hour process from beginning to end ensures no two paintings are exactly the same. Moving on to number two, we have the Pepper robot. While people are still not able to read emotions of people, Pepper can read them. The robot is designed to recognize human faces and detect different types of human emotions, which enables it to make interactions with humans through artificially intelligent conversations gestures, and its touchscreen. It is a robot that is built with the thought of human-robot interaction and to evolve social bonds between the two beings. That is, if robots could be called beings. Manufactured by SoftBank Robotics, this semi-humanoid robot is developed in such a way that it can understand more than 15 languages, recognize which language the person is speaking, and also make intelligent interactions with the person being talked to. Unlike other robots, which are industry-specific and cannot be bought outside the industry, Pepper can be bought by a normal human. That too, online. More than 3,000 companies have adopted their own Pepper to welcome and guide their visitors. Robots like Pepper are a sweet spot to impress visitors and investors. It has already made an impressive appearance in the open days of the School of Science, where it has been the spotlight of attraction in the computer science department. It was reported that the visitors were very impressed by the interactive capabilities of the robot mingled with light humor. The robot has already made its career by helping the undergraduate students in their final year project. On today's Phase number three, we have robots, once again from Japan. Their study on autonomous robots and robotic services have made them come up with a solution about interacting with artificially intelligent AI-powered service machines. This includes promotional women, and along with them, a 165cm tall humanoid robot, Actroid, which introduces the French Azaro perfumes at a Christmas gift promotion event at the Takashimaya department store in Tokyo. This Actroid is produced by the Japanese robot venture Kokoro which was then hired by the Japanese fragrance importer Wakaba for the sales campaign through the Christmas Day. The study also included an interaction with another female human-like robot, which goes by the name of Sarah. The participants who were shown with a female robot gave more satisfying and positive rates. A featureless male machine scored the lowest, 
while a human, human-like robot scored the highest. The participants have reported that they disliked a completely automated service from robots. Further research regarding gender-based hospitality and customer perception will be conducted. For more concrete information, very little information is made public about this event. Moving on to number four, one of the largest companies in Russia and Eastern Europe have now started selling their humanoid robots, which are called the Android Robo C. They have a physical appearance resembling any person they wish to. These robots have anthropomorphic machines that are capable of mimicking human expressions, which include moving the eyes, eyebrows, lips, etc. And it can also support conversations all thanks to technologies like artificial intelligence and machine learning. It has been reported that the RoboC is capable of reproducing more than 600 variants of human microfacial expressions. Thus, they can be used both for commercial as well as for personal use. It has been estimated that these robots have the capability of replacing employees in banks, hotels, malls, and various other companies. Since the robot is also capable of answering the questions of guests and visitors, it can also be employed in shopping malls and museums, whereas if one uses it for personal purposes, they can be used for managing smart homes. Number 5. Ever thought of a news anchor being a robot? Have the thoughts of getting the latest updates about the world from a robotic news anchor? Well, to your surprise, this has actually become true. Erika, a human-like robot created by Hiroshi Ishiguro from the Intelligent Robotics Laboratory, is one of the most intelligent humanoid robots developed in Japan once again. It is developed in such a way that she can easily interact with human beings and make changes to her facial expressions according to the conversation being made. Even though she cannot walk, the robot can possibly make human-like conversations because of the 15 inbuilt infrared sensors in her eyes that can track any movement whatsoever. She also has inbuilt face recognition technology and speech generating algorithms built in to track different faces in a room and also allow her to make various facial expressions accordingly. Currently, Erica has been working as a news anchor. Imagine watching early morning news and the presenter is a robot, with special emphasis being given on her verbal capabilities while being developed. It seems Japan has done a great job. The developer thinks that the robot might have a real soul, but this seems quite debatable and also incomprehensible. And last but not the least, we have a robotic girlfriend for all the lonely men out there. Yes, a Japanese firm has produced a 15-inch tall robotic female humanoid robot, which is apparently the girlfriend that is capable of kissing on command. The robot is reported to go on sale this September for around $175 each, targeting the market of lonely adult men. The robot is big, busted, petite, and battle-ready are some of the words often associated with robots, but we wanted to break that stereotype and provide a robot that's sweet and interactive, said Minako Sakanue, a spokeswoman for the maker Sega Toys. She's very lovable, and though she's not a human, she can act like a real girlfriend. Well, Japan seems to have put a lot of effort into making these. And this brings us to the end of this video. Do you think Japan is leading this industry? Will Japan be the future of robotics? Can these Japanese robots be a threat in the future? Stay tuned to our channel to get all your questions answered. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. If you enjoyed watching the video, then make sure to hit the like button and make sure to comment below. Your comments are valuable and it helps us in staying motivated. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to never miss another update on such amazing technological innovations. With that being said, let's meet on another video. Until then, see ya!